Most small businesses don't spend time building a company profile template until they need it. While these profiles are sometimes designed as a one-pager document or even an infographic, we continue to defend the slide presentation format is probably the best. The challenge with one-pagers and infographic is that once built, adding or removing information is complicated. With a presentation, on the other hand, you can add or hide slides to be able to tailor the company profile to whoever is receiving it. When we initially designed the slides, we call them a public company intro template, since they were meant to be a sort of public investor deck that the company could embed on their website. We still think that's a good idea, by the way. Depending on the type of website your company has, a company intro and presentation form might be a good way to get people engaged in what you do. All slide and presentations are embeddable. All you need to do is copy a code snippet, and the frame will automatically adapt to the width of your site and the device where it's being loaded. Still, we've revamped the deck to be more fitting for a short company profile that could be shared as a standalone presentation or included as an introduction to a sales pitch or a consulting proposal. These standalone presentations can be shared as an intro to a potential client included in your website contact form or your email autoresponder. They can also append to your email signature or used for social media marketing. Finally, if you set your privacy settings to public, the slides may be indexed by Google and other search engines, providing you yet another result for your search engine optimization efforts. Back in 2016, we invested about $70,000 in SEO, and so far, we've made probably like a million dollars in revenue just from those campaigns. These are the slides you need to include in your company profile template. One, the cover. Keep it simple. Choose the best company image you can find. And if you don't have one, try using our Flickr and Unsplash integrations to find one that relates to your business. Two, basic numbers. We used founding year, customer served, and monthly active users as examples. But the idea here is to find some metrics, accomplishments, or awards that you can brag about. Number three, mission and vision. We've exchanged the traditional mission vision statements for our concept of company culture, visionless. But understand all the reasons why these have to be there. Number four, the team. Talk about your core team, or at least the part that is relevant to whomever you are sharing this document with. Try to keep it to two to four people and add the shortest possible summary about them. Number five, services. This is a kind of what we do slide, which again, might not apply to every single context. If you're using this presentation for a business proposal, you may want to mention other services or products your company has as a way to bring some context into the pitch. Number six, clients. There's no better proof than social proof. This slide is your chance to brag about your most name-worthy customers and some of the projects you've developed with them. Number seven, projects. As an extension of the client slide, bring in some highlighted projects or products that you've developed. Get a star, hero image for each one of them, and add a small brief of what your company did. Number eight, quotes. Again, social proof is really valuable for these presentations. If you have quotes from press or reviews from relevant people, this is where they belong. Number nine, contact information. Website, email, and social. Not much to add here. We hope this summary of what a company profile template is helped you get a better idea of what you need to work on for your company. Just remember to keep it updated with any additions or changes you need. If you found this information useful, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.